Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And today I am going to be showing y'all the best center build in NBA 2K24 right now. Now, I did a lot of research on this and I haven't taken anybody's... Wait, I'm going to adjust my camera real quick. Okay, that's better. And and I didn't take anybody's like uh, builds or anything. I just made my own build straight from scratch. So I'm going to get straight into it, show you guys step by step on how to make it. So as you see, we go in. We go, whatever you guys want to do on this, doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how, how I do it. So center, this is a pure center, 6'11", 235. Want to make them not too light, but not too big. You know what I mean? Because this year you need strength as well. And obviously max wingspan for me, because I don't like going anything other than that. Driving dunk goes straight to an 89. And then the close shot, you go as low as possible. So that is going to be as low as possible. Driving layup, same thing. So 69, as low as possible. Standing dunk, you're going to go to an 80 don't need post control three point max mid-range 70 and you're gonna go to we'll keep the free throw as low as possible for now pass accuracy honestly it's up to you guys and depends on your play style for me i'm gonna keep it at, an, at a 75 maybe even a 70 depending on how many stats i can get with lowering it but we'll see but for now it's a 75 max ball handle max speed of ball interior defense put it at a 90 don't need any more than a 90 in my opinion and even a 90 is pretty high i mean you could definitely get stops at a 90 perimeter defense max uh steel not gonna have a steal you don't really need a steal this year especially because it's like for some reason i'm getting steals on my guard right now and he only has a 25 steal right now and he gets eventually like a 50 but you don't need a steal this year honestly uh passing lanes they're really just non-existent nowadays so in this game at least so 87 block 92 offense oh wait actually no we're going yeah 87 block 92 defensive rebounds 70 offensive going max speed max acceleration max strength 80 vertical and max stamina now look that is the build i mean that is the build now you can tweak it a little bit if you want. Like for me, I don't ever really play rec or anything. So I'm probably just gonna put that free throw as low as possible, get that max stamina. There you go. Now this build can do everything. I mean, this build can dribble. It can, it can do, it gets contacts. It can shoot, it can defend really well. I mean, th this build is so good that honestly, like I, I, it's just a pure center, like the best type of build you would want. And you're going to see the comparisons as well when we go into, you know, when we're actually finished with the build. Now, again, you could tweak it the way you want to tweak it. I mean, you could put the pass accuracy down to 70 and then, you know, you don't get much steal out of that. Honestly, you could put the, you know, you don't get much out of that. You could put the, your offensive rebound a little higher. You could put your free throw up if you want for people that maybe play rec. But for me, I don't really play rec, so I keep it at a 75. And that's just all I need, honestly. And then 59 free throw. Okay. So for me, that is how I'm gonna do it. And this is the best center build right now, in my opinion, and the best, and the build that I'm gonna go with for uh, you know my center build. So just continue. And as you guys can see, shades of Anthony Davis. Uh, loading Anthony Davis, Claxton and Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid and Anthony Davis, crazy comparisons. I mean, like you, you can't get much better than that. And that is the build. I mean, you choose your team, whatever you guys wanna do. And now I'm gonna show you the second center build because I know some people just want to have a little smaller, yet it can still do everything. So this is the second center build coming up right now. So for this build, you're going to go 6'10", and you're going to go max wingspan, of course. You're going to go 2, you're going to go 229, and you are going to be 6'10". So, so for this build, it's going to have a little less rebounding um but again you do get different perks with that going as well so it's almost the same format kind of but a little different of course so we're gonna go max cell max speed and this time you're gonna go 70 pass accuracy for this one max ball handle max uh speed of ball actually you're gonna go 75 no you're gonna go 76 ball handle 76 ball handle and you're going to have an 80 80 perimeter i'm gonna have an 81 perimeter and then you're gonna have 89 dunk get as low as possible on that and then the rest is honestly yours guys i mean you could put it up to pass 75 pass accuracy or you could put it on free throw you could put it on whatever you want for me i'd probably put it on offensive rebound because again i like rebounding more um the good thing with this build is it still gets silver rebound chaser it still gets gold box out beast and the thing with this build is just a little more offensive i guess because you can dribble you get those 75 ball handle six which is good so this is a build that 
if your guard has nothing going for him, then you could take over and you can honestly ISO with this build. So for me, I like the 6.11 more, but I know some people want a little bit faster, a little bit shorter, and this is gonna be probably the best build for you if that's the case. I would put it on an offensive rebound and then free throw, whatever. So that's how it's gonna be. And then this one, you get shades of Anthony Davis, Claxton, and bam. So good comparisons as well. I mean, both builds you really can't go wrong with. Uh, you know, they're both really good. It's two anterior threat. I just think this one is a little more offensive. The other one is a little more defensive because you get more rebounding and more um, just defense overall in the other one. But this one, you just get a little less rebounding, but a little more ball handle. And it really just depends on your play style. For me, I'm going with the 611. But again, both are really, really solid. So it really just depends on your play style. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I made it quick and easy. Now, I will be releasing jump shots because I know these builds, you can only get certain jump shots on them. So I will be releasing best jump shots for each and every build soon. And they're custom made by me. I don't copy nobody's jump shot. I do my own research. I look at everything and I come up with jump shots. So I will show you guys that next video. And I hope you all enjoyed. And let's see if you guys like the build. Peace.